This is part five of my video series on uh, making an Imperial Guard Death Strike missile launcher conversion. Uh, it's been a long time coming. I've been lacking some inspiration and just been busy with other things, but uh, I finally got around to actually finishing it, uh, or at least as, as finished as it's going to get. So I added uh, just basically a bunch of little features. I added the two, um, two parts on the side here. Uh, I didn't add any extra rivets. I figured it was just uh, too much hassle for me. I didn't really want to cut them all up and distribute them evenly with super glue. It uh, can be pretty frustrating to do stuff like that. Um, so yeah, I got them built up on the sides. I just basically put a bunch of accessories on them to make them sort of blend in a little bit better with the um, with the uh, tank itself. Um, you can see I shortened the um, the missile that it's carrying. Um, I shortened it by about two inches. I just uh, took a small hacksaw and, and sawed it off and then re-glued it back together. The tip, that is. So, my solution for clipping it onto the top was actually just some magnet. I've got a, just a piece of strip magnet there and uh, I've fastened um, some metal, um, some just some sheet metal that's um, been wrapped around the missile so that it'll just stick right on like that so it can still um, still be raised but I uh, I did glue it down so that it can't swivel anymore mostly because I wanted to put things on the sides of there and it wouldn't be able to uh, swivel it would just come in contact with those so I glued that together and um, that's pretty much it I just wanted to get this video finally together. There have been a lot of people asking for it. Um, and I hadn't put out a video for some time. But that is the conversion Imperial Guard Death Strike Missile Launcher. If you uh, have any questions, uh, just post them and I'll try to answer them. But that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching this series. And uh, sorry it took so long to get it online.